In today's video, I will show you how you can trade sideways moving market so that you can make money because it's well known that Forex market is moving, moving sideways or consolidating 70% of times. So stay tuned and check out how you can trade it. Alright, hi guys and welcome back to the channel. As I said in the intro, it's very n well known fact that the Forex market is trending just like 30, 20 to 30% of times and the rest of the times this Forex market is just moving sideways. So in this video, I will show you how you can identify the consolidating market and when can you trade and what can you trade in the consolidation consolidations for you that you that you already don't know is also when the market moves sideways so consolidation or sideways move, moving market is basically the same thing okay and to teach you all of it i need to show you first how can one identify the trend okay so and uh, to keep long story short I will go over basic principles. We need three point move, okay? We need the series of higher, 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 low, higher, high, and if it's a three point move, then we are in a trending market. For a detailed description on how to read a trending market and how to read and recognize the trend, please check out this video, which I'll bring up right now. That is the video that I recorded where I'm teaching you how you can properly read the trend. It's, I don't know how long is it, but it's very good video and explains a lot because I was struggling at the beginning when I was starting three years ago. I've listened to many so-called gurus out online and just to just to understand that there is like multiple trends within the trend and all of that stuff. But for example, if you see this chart right here, I would say this is bull trend, bull trend. Now we're in a bear trend while this was not a case. So people were teaching me wrong. So I decided when I when I when I wrapped it up all up when I started trading live and I started being kind of profitable, I decided okay now I gotta teach people how to read the trend because this is one of the most important things. But let's go and let's quickly re do the recap and then let's move to the consolidating market. Okay, as I said in the video, we need a uh, a three point move. So if you have a starting point right here. Uh, higher, high, uh, initial structure high, initial structure low, higher high, we have a three point move and then we are in the bull market. Okay, it's simple as that. If, however, we move pro uh, lower than the previous outside return or previous pullback, we have violation of a trend and we are in potential uh, rotation. Okay, but what we need to do again to go to the bear market, a pullback. And a new low so then we have our initial starting point initial low uh initial higher low uh, lower high and then initial uh new structure low which gives us our three point move and then we are in the bear market okay it's as simple as this okay but for the detailed description detailed explanation chart examples please check out that video okay now let's move remote remove all drawing tools and now to tell you how can one identify that he or she is in consolidation and then approach the market in a correct way because a lot of people see like this and this is a trick that a lot of people fall for let's say that we are moving like this okay now we're moving like this so we have our initial we have our uh bullish trend for example we have one our first point we have our initial stru structure high we have our pullback here and then we have a new structure high and then the trick is as i said in like a few seconds ago like 30 seconds ago what do we need to have to identify the bear trend or violation for violation we need to bridge this point right here yes okay and for a bear trend we need to make a lower low higher low a lower high and then a new low so again we need to have a three point move okay and here's the trap that people fall fall for and which was i was falling for as well people think that if the market moves like this that this is the bear trend why i don't blame them though i see why we have initial starting point we have initial kind of structure low or so, or some would say that it is his initial structure low. 
a pullback and a new low, which is not correct. Okay, so a lot of people think that when you check out this here, that this is a bear trend. And I was thinking the same thing. I don't blame anybody, but this is not a same trend. This is not a change of trend. This is not the bear trend. This is a movement, a so-called complex pullback within a bull trend. Because if we want to move to trend violation, we need to violate a pre our previous outside return. And obviously, that did not happen because the price is above our previous outside return. Okay, So don't fall for this shit. With that being said, that gives us a good opportunity to take a pattern. Okay, Because what is this? Although we are trending currently, and we did not retest our high, higher, our you know the highest high here, uh, there is a chance that the pattern can form. And patterns usually form when this market is moving sideways. Okay, they can form when the market is trending, like in this case, if the market is giving you a full signal of a uh, bearish trend, it can actually form a nice looking pattern. So for, for in, in this case, this might be, I don't know, let's see what is it. It's, it will be a bad pattern. Okay. 88. Yeah. So, so yeah, this would be a bad pattern, which you can then trade to, you know, to retest of a uh, initial of your high highs or just a standalone and you know, targets one targets two based on the, uh, well-known rules for trading uh, patterns. But here in this video, what I want to show you is how to trade, not not uh, not in a, in the trends, but rather how to trend, uh, take trades in the consolidating market. So we know what is a bull market. We know then how to move to the bear market, but how do we know when we are moving sideways? Okay, basically what you will see on the chart is sideways movement. Okay, the price action will just keep doing like this. no exact direction okay this is a sideways moving market and i think that here if you look good maybe i maybe by accident i drew something this might be i don't know bogartley i don't know i'm not sure uh, i need to drag fips up because i'm not using this but i hope that you're getting the point in the sideways market the uh the great strategies that you can use are harmonic patterns okay so how to identify the sideways market. First of all, the sideways moving market looks on the chart like you're moving sideways, like this. Would you say that we are in a trending market or we are just moving like here and we are again here? So at the beginning of a chart, if you look from left to the right side, we, uh, we didn't move much, right? On the uh, Y axis, we just move on the X axis. We just moving to the right side no directional movement but there is also a rule how you can identify it okay and this is the rule so for example i'm just going to remove all drawing tools and start again so let me put the black color so you can see x2a okay and now we have new new this so let's say that we have our starting point here this is our starting point. This is our initial structure high, initial uh, initial low, or outside uh, out. It's a pullback retracement or outside return, and then we have a new structure high here. And now we are in confirmed bull trend. And but if the price action comes back up, makes a retest, but doesn't make a new higher high, and closes above this high here, above the highest high of this candle that will form here. V, and then it doesn't close, so it just retests, and we get some kind of a pullback of some sort. We are officially in a sideways moving market. Okay, so at this point, I would stop looking for any uh, trend trades, any trend trading strategies. I would just look for patterns because uh, the saying that people that I know that t taught me how to trade forex are saying. Okay, so first we need to identify what's happening on the charts. Okay, and now when we identified here that the market did was in a bullish trend, but now made a retest, it didn't close above it. It's actually, it made a retest, so it's consolidating. We know it's consolidating. So now we check out our back or our strategy list and see, okay, in consolidations, what, is this, what does the cons consolidation do? 
breeds breeds patterns okay so when you are in a consolidation or a sideways moving market you can trade harmonic patterns and best know harmonic patterns that i'm trading are bad pattern cipher pattern and a Gartley pattern let me bring the videos where i teach the rules for those patterns up so if you're interested you can immediately go ahead and check them out so first this is a bad pattern all right so this here that i'm going to bring up right now is a Gartley pattern okay and now this is a third pattern that I am trading. There are many more patterns, but this is cipher pattern. Okay. There are many more patterns, but I'm trading only these three patterns. And I've, I know that for a fact that these three patterns are profitable. And I know that they form in consolidation. And then you can trade them 70% of time because the rest of the times market is trending. And when the market is trending, yes, sure, sometimes patterns do form. However, there is a higher chance of you of, for you to be profitable if you use trend trading strategies in that case. Okay, so let's go to the charts real quick and let's let's find an example of uh, when the market was trending and it stopped trending and then the... Uh, consolidation happened and then we could have uh, get engaged in one of the patterns okay and i'm not gonna lie to you right now i prepared myself so i have this chart right in front of me let's let's see so let's assume that we started from here okay this is our starting point so we have an initial structure high uh, initial low higher high uh pullback higher high again so we have one move one two three four five point move we are in a confirmed bull trend okay so what then what what does that market do exactly what i told you in the example it retraces a little bit comes back up and comes down and at this point you will take a look at this candle you think you're in a bear trend well you're not it didn't close below this lowest low of this pullback but when the uh, when the trade when the candles closed all the way to here then we were in confirmed violation of a bull trend we are not however in a bear trend but what happens then uh pull back new low so now we are in a confirmed bear trend okay so no patterns no consolidation just small movements on our one time frame changes of trend now we have a violation of a previous bear trend uh pullback now we are again in the a rotation okay what 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 do we do then up lower low pull back lower low pull back nothing violation of a trend again and then we have finally some kind of a it's not a retest again but we have a pattern here here is the actual Gartley pattern which you can see here okay this is a Gartley pattern and there is actually no movement okay we we started we are not in no trend we are not moving in trending ways we just have a violation so basically we are in consolidation we we didn't continue move down we just violated the previous outside return and there is no actual direction so we are in consolidation or a sideways moving market if you take a look at the ugly example as i drew on the charts above uh Let's see. So let's follow the market and how it looks like. Do you have a direction? No, no real direction. Okay, so there is no direction. It's just a sideways moving, sideways movement. Okay, all the way. I don't know. We can we can follow it here, here, here. Okay, and so on and so forth. Basically, we bridge previous lows, so I will look for a shorting opportunity. Uh, it wouldn't be a consolidating market for me anymore. All the way until this point, I would be consolidating market all the way from here. Okay, so I will look for the uh, where is it? The triangle or something that I can draw here. Let me see. Rectangle. Okay, so I would look for a consolidation i will look for a pattern trade in this consolidation period when we bridge the previous low then it, for me it would be bear market continuation because we did move to the we had a consolidation within the bear market 
okay then we made a new low we pulled back again here moving down again consolidating and uh, you know it's it's ugly in, in in real life examples are ugly they're not as simple as they when i drew on a chart like with pen and paper okay but you gotta you gotta learn how to read the price action and the first step is know how to read the trend and how to identify the consolidation i hope that this video helps you a little bit how can you identify it so basically just to recap real quickly in consolidation or a sideways moving market what you can do is trade patterns okay and how you can identify the consolidation if we violated the previous outside return of a bull or a bear trend then we have a potential rotation but we have basically sideways movement we have nothing right we are not moving in the upwards direction we are not moving to the down to the downside we are just moving sideways and we had that exact example right here so we moved down we made a pullback moved down had a lower low lower close moved up and then we didn't get a new high or nothing we just kept moving sideways and exactly on this point we got our godly pattern look look which one it hit two targets so i hope you find this interesting i hope you find this useful if you have any sort of questions you know uh, comment below ask me any question i'll try to uh, answer it as soon as possible if you're new here if you like this kind of a content if it helps you consider subscribing as well also hit that like button smash the bell button uh, leave a comment share the video help the youtube algorithm rank this video and yeah basically that's it that brings us to the end of this video i want to thank you for staying until the end i hope this helps you and speak to you soon next time bye bye